Hard to believe it's Thanksgiving again already. How are things at school? Any good classes this semester? Everything is fine and I do have a great political science course on the biology of politics. We are reading a new book called Predisposed by Hibbing Smith and Alfred. A must read. I loved my political science classes when I was your age but we mostly focused on civil rights and the war in Vietnam back when I was at Berkeley. Yeah, well things are a bit different these days, and political science is much more rigorous. It's almost like a real science now. Oh well, if you had been in college back in the 70s I'm sure you would have been leading an anti-war protest just like me. Actually, no, I don't think I would have. But I'm glad you brought that up because there is something about me that I have always kept secret and I want the whole family to know. Wait a minute son. We covered that last Thanksgiving. We are fine with your being gay, even your Aunt Edith is coming around. I told you, I always sensed that you were gay. Yeah but. We are liberals in this family. We accept all people for what they are. I was born straight, you were born gay, and your mom is keeping her options open. No big deal. Well, that is great, but what I have been trying to tell you is that we are not all liberals. I'm a conservative and I'm sick of pretending to be something I'm not. What? What do you mean by conservative? Politically conservative, Dad. I joined the Young Republicans. I believe in a smaller pro-business government, lower taxes, and that Ronald Reagan was our greatest president. Well son, that's not so conservative, that is just Stanford talking. You will get over this phase. But Dad, face reality I believe in the repeal of Obamacare. Wow. That sounds like a conservative alright. Maybe this is what we get for being so tolerant of your lifestyle choices. First Stanford and now this. It is such a relief to have this out in the open. I have always felt like I was a conservative. I wanted to join the Boy Scouts and play with guns and wear a coat and tie to school, but I didn't want you and mom to be ashamed of me. I tried to be a liberal. But I am not. Inside me was always a conservative trying to get out. I remember you asking for a coat and tie to wear to 6th grade, but I thought that was because you were gay. My god how can you be a conservative? Conservatives don't accept gays. Actually, my friends in the Young Republicans all accept my being gay. They say that they know that I am organized and dependable and religious and oppose Obamacare. So they know that I must have been born gay, because I sure wouldn't have chosen to be gay. I just can't believe that this is serious. You were raised to be a good liberal. Maybe this is just youthful rebellion. You sound just like my friends in the Stanford Queer Straight Alliance. They all say I should just stop being a conservative because conservatives don't like gays. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ideology is a choice, couldn't you at least try being an independent? That would be so much easier for everyone, including you. Dad ideology goes much deeper than just a choice. You need to read the book I was telling you about, Predisposed. Liberals, conservatives, and the biology of political differences. It explains everything. I was born conservative, just like I was born gay, and born not liking Brussels sprouts. Okay okay. I hear you son, but this is going to take some time to adjust to. For example, does this mean that we have to stop making jokes about Rick Perry at the dinner table? That would be nice for a change dad. If you think you can manage it. I'll try, but I'm worried about the rest of the family. Maybe we should send them all a copy of this book, give them a chance to read it, and then tell them at Christmas. Okay dad. That sounds like a good plan. Don't worry. We have survived and eat his congealed salad all these years, and we can survive this too.